And we start at the U.S. southern border tonight, where America's hottest new destination seems to be Del Rio, Texas, or as illegals might call it, Bidenville. Has a nice ring to it, right? Population 8, 10, 12,000, who knows? The situation on the border is spiraling out of control, as shocking footage showed 12,000, mostly Haitian, illegal immigrants crammed under a bridge in South Texas last week. And they're still there right now. Things are so bad, it's not just Republicans sounding the alarm as Obama's DHS secretary, Jay Johnson. Well, he's also crying uncle. We have to get control of our, our borders. 200,000 a month is a lot of people. A DHS just released the numbers for August. It's 200,000. August right. is typically a month where it's very low. And those kinds of numbers and the images you just showed your audience uh, saps the ability, it overwhelms the ability of DHS, the Border Patrol, ICE. Overwhelmed. Unable to ignore the crisis any longer, the White House sent current Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas down to Texas today with a, shall we say, weak message for these illegal immigrants. We are very concerned that Haitians who are taking this irregular migration path are receiving false information that the border is open or that temporary protected status is available. I want to make sure that it is known that this is not the way to come to the United States. That is false information. If you come to the United States illegally, you will be returned. Uh-huh. But where is this so-called false information coming from? Why do tens of thousands of illegals regardless of where they're coming from, think the border is open. Maybe it's because Joe Biden has spent all this year and last year on the campaign trail rolling out the borderless welcome mat. Or maybe suspending deportation flights to Haiti earlier this year gave this group of illegals all the encouragement they needed to rush the border. And of course, the media on top of the situation, pressing Jen Psaki today on what is clearly the most important issue. You're allowing Afghans to come in, Afghan supporters to come in, as well as Mexicans, and then Haitians are not allowed. Can you speak to that, the issue of equity and fairness? Can you speak to that? Let's play by that left-wing game for a second. Why are they turning away these black people? Are they not the right color to cross the border? Why do some black and brown illegals get to claim asylum and be treated with compassion? but others get deported. Why does Bidenville get targeted with draconian measures like deportation? This is the group you get tough on? Poor illegals yearning to live free. Bidenville is the literal depiction of the huddled masses, yet Joe turns them back? Sounds pretty racist to me. Surely comrade Ocasio-Cortez will be there to cry for their plight like she was at the Donna facility. Or maybe Mayor Joe Biden will deport her too. There are no rules and others are just arbitrary, so, so who knows? But no, she wants to tax the rich, like really bad, so, so she's safe. Every other day the border's open, but today it's closed for black Haitians in Bidenville. What is the standard? What is the plan at the border? Maybe the plan is, no plan. The only thing Joe Biden is trying to avoid at the border is bad media coverage. And he's even bad at that. Meanwhile, patriotic Border Patrol agents and Texas law enforcement are put in impossible situations, babysitting at Bidenville while the Mexican cartels take full advantage. You heard Jay Johnson say 200,000 are crossing the border in August. With all the holes being created along the border, I'm sure the number is much higher. And where was Mayor Joe Biden this weekend? Well, he was making sure things are all good up there in Delaware while licking ice cream cones and maskless bike rides. How dare he? As crisis after crisis explodes under his leadership or non-leadership. But don't worry, Vice President Giggles was on the case. You'd figure root causes Kamala would be posted up in Port-au-Prince, figuring out the real problems in Haiti. But instead, she was wandering around the 50-yard line at a football game in Washington, D.C., flipping coins. Heads, the citizens of Bidenville stay. Tails, they go. 
So it's obvious we can't count on the White House to fix this crisis. But luckily, our Democrat-led Congress is doing something about it. They spent last week building a wall, putting the National Guard on standby and gathering the entire national media so everyone could see what was happening. No, uh, not on the border, but instead outside the U.S. Capitol. As Texas is literally overrun with illegal immigrants, our self-centered leaders in the swamp are erecting walls that apparently work and calling in the National Guard over a tiny peaceful protest. And of course, predictably, the left-wing media laps it all up. You see, Democrats don't care about protecting you or me or the border or our nation. They only care about protecting themselves, their political position, and their livelihood. And that's why they're ignoring the border. It doesn't affect them, except they hope in the future at the ballot box. So they're focused on shoving a, instead on shoving a $3.5 trillion socialist spending bill down our throats, fundamentally changing our country and economy in the process. Barack Obama talked about fundamental transformation. He never would have dreamed of a bill as rich as the $3.5 trillion bill they're trying to pass. The border, crime, COVID, inflation, all distractions. Mayor Joe Biden, Vice President Giggles, and their usefully useless DHS secretary, they have bigger plans, and they're determined to pass 3.5 trillion of them. Your safety and sovereignty just don't matter in comparison.